doing the sketching. And uh, right, we're live. And uh, so I just want to get everybody all lined up here. And uh, so, so again, like like I said, uh, I just didn't, uh, when I go live or or uh, Santa Claus goes live for the kids, I invite you automatically, guys. So again, I was just keeping you update for uh, what things are gonna be like on New Year's. Um, that that's gonna be a, New Year's Eve is going to be an adult show, uh, just because the fact I got a few friends here and we're gonna be live, and uh, the fact that it is gonna be kind of a comedy, adult comedy. Uh, stand up talking comedy night. Uh, so again, I either by memory or skip script cards, um, and and that kind of, kind of stuff. So, and you don't have to worry, guys. Uh, just because it's nineteen plus, it there is not going to be, there's not going to be anybody uh, get it going way overboard or out of control. Uh, again, that's going to be well under control. Uh, so you don't have to ever worry about that kind of be uh, that kind of uh, kind of um, uh, anything that is not unusual uh, that's, that won't be acceptable um, so you don't have to ever worry about that guys um, amongst my crew and that uh, so again like I said we've got oh okay that, that's the teddy bear in the way um I gotta move him over a bit, guys, and I'll be back in one minute. Oh. So we're gonna get on to the kind of a uh, gonna find it here. And uh, so again, we're live on the Christmas Eve, uh, Christmas Elf Lounge, which Christmas Elf Lounge originally goes up to um, December twenty fourth, guys, Christmas Eve. And uh, so again, these shows that I'm doing now with Christmas Elf Lounge, uh, anybody can follow, kids can follow. They're not restricted. It's just New Year's Eve, December thirty first night is on going to be the special night uh because the fact that is is it is it is new year's eve and uh new year's eve is originally for the adults uh so again um well oh, drank my coffee too fast so uh so again so again i just wanted to keep you update and explain on how all that's going to be set up um so, uh, so again, uh, again, the whole the whole studio here is gonna change around, and I'm gonna attack probably fix the lights or whatever, and the, the fix drop the light a bit, uh, so that way, guys, uh, that way, and uh, so that way, the Happy New Year's Lounge opens up, which will you'll get a good inside look of it, um, uh, and uh, on uh, before before the party night and uh so uh, so anyhow uh where the table is here is now you're gonna how it's gonna change around is it's gonna have a different setting on the christmas elf lounge uh means everything's gonna change around again uh so again it is going to um uh again that 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 where the tv is uh, i'm planning on putting where my tv is uh again the table's gonna go back there and um so the TV is going to go in behind by my, just in front of my window. And, uh, so, so that way it is, it is going to have, it's going to, I have got it mapped out. So that way it is, it is, we're going to open up a, we're basically going to open up this whole entire area guys. Uh, so again, it is standable. Guys, I joke it. Duty is going to be in the house. Uh, so again, it's going to be, it's a happy new year's Eve. Joker's, Joker's on duty. Joker's Corner on duty lounge, and uh, so it's going to be all stand up. Uh, so again, there's no, there's going to be no sitting down, uh, no chairs available. <laughs> uh, so so again, it's going to be it's going to be just kind of a kind of a stand up thing, um, and you got to stand up all night long. <laughs> um, Anybody on this side of the camera? So that was just kind kind of an update there. Um, so the, those that don't wish to follow that night, uh, you don't have to if you don't wish to. 
Um, but again, uh, you going to the library, Fran? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you might have to let me in. Oh, oh, okay. I'll don't rattle the chain. Don't let the cat out. So again, uh, we're gonna get on with the drawing, and uh, so again, we just wanted to get that update out of the way. Uh, again, I, I sh again that, that 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 kind of stuff as well. Uh, so so again, there'll be very few selected picked for that night. Um, so again, um, this is uh, the other side of the sketch we're gonna be doing. So you guys guys can see that, and. Uh, So again, we're going to start with a kind of a red color, and we're just going to go in there a bit, in between the lines as possible. No more pop-ups. Oh, that's an orange. Sorry, I thought that was a red. Actually, it's an orange. Um, don't let the cat out. So again, we're gonna kind of get that kind of shaded in there. So that's gonna be one of those those updates and that kind of thing. So and so you know how December schedule is gonna go. Also, to the first weekend of December, which is coming up on the Christmas Elf Lounge, uh, while well, we're Christmas Elf Lounge, um, is going to be the um, will be the Lake Euron, uh, the Lake Euron, George and Bray. Uh, Wyerton, Ontario, Canada, South Bruce Peninsula, uh, if you want to call it North Pole Santa Claus Parade. Uh, so again, uh, again, that'll be that'll be falling on the first weekend of um, December, and usually around the second. Uh, so again, I forgot got the date right, right as the same as last year. If it's the same date as last year, uh, it will either be the second or it'll be either the, the on the first weekend, anyways, of December. Um, I'd say around the second or the third. Um, again, it is a it is an evening parade, guys. It is going to be uh, Christmas lights and that kind of thing on the floats, and that and then of course Santa Claus is at the end of the float at the end of the parade, um, and that kind of stuff as well. We will try to get uh, again. We'll try to get the live what you call the live uh, uh, live stream of that as well as it makes its way down down Burford Street, down the main street here. And um, so you guys can uh, feel free to tune in and follow that. And And uh, so again, you're a little pink. And uh, so, anyways, our original MFR he apologizes. He couldn't he couldn't go live uh, a lot this year because uh, he's been busy and that kind of stuff. And uh, so uh, and un unavailable and detained. Uh, so hopefully he does. He sends his regret the regards and uh, he apologizes. Uh, but uh, he will be back, probably might be back with us in the new year. So uh, MFers Live will be, might, might be actually, might, might be coming back on uh, in, in sometime in the new year in, in, uh, in 2019 and starting off a fresh year. Um, with uh, a thought which is always followed by SDK Entertainment. Now, I, again, SDK Entertainment is live now and then uh, and that kind of stuff. Uh, with the with a lot of the rock and roll and rap concerts and that kind of stuff as well, um, 
So you can go check out their live streams as well, guys. Um, so again, they got wonderful rap concerts and that kind of stuff on the go. Uh, sometimes they do country music gigs uh, whenever they're invited to it. Uh, lately, they have not been invited to cover any country music or rock and roll concerts. Uh, again, it, so far, it's been all like heavy rock, uh, heavy metal, more so like rap, more gigs they were getting. Um, but uh, SDK Entertainment also does other gigs, like other type, like pop music, rock music, soft rock, whatever, country music. Um, it's where, wherever they're hired for that gig and that kind of stuff that they want, that 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 they get an invite to go cover those concerts and that kind of thing with them efforts. Um, we'll do a live coverage of those concerts uh, if they're requested or or invited to to or. Writ or are or, or asked to live cover it. So it gives you a little bit of a, a, a little bit of idea, a little bit of an inside update on what M MFers is about. And uh, also to um, through through what you call um, I have been following them for the last few years, and I always thought they were great because uh, some of the th things they talk about on MF uh, and, and look, MFers Live uh, is is all uh, all has to do with peace, love, and positivity, uh, and um, and talks about on how to how how to how to deal with negativity in your life, uh, and uh, and how to deal with negative people, uh, or bullies, or people that uh, may have, have may have a negative. Pro or problems or uh, personality on how to get around them and how to deal with that in your life and how to turn negativity into positivity. Um, I always like what Relic the Clown had to say last night. Uh, and that, uh, again, they want to get the Relic Army t-shirts that says, hug a hater. <laughs> uh, that, that it, again, it'll say, too bad the MF didn't pick up on that one. Um, you know that 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 kind of thing. Uh, they definitely probably hate you more for that one. Uh, but again, he wants. I guess Relic the Clown wants wants to get the Relic Army T-shirts done up with his logo on it, uh, with that says the Relic Army. It says Relic Army. Hug a hater. <laughs> um, so again, they probably want. They probably will definitely probably hate you more so for that uh, than anything. Um, I'll have to talk to the big guy in the red suit, Santa Claus, to see if he could do that for Relic the Clown. Um, see if, if Santa Claus can do that for Relic the Clown this year for Christmas. Um, can't guarantee anything, but I'll, 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 chat, I'll chat with the big guy in the red suit, uh, Santa Claus there, and see if we can, if we can pull some, us elves can pull some strings in that department uh, for him at least. Um, to see see Santa Claus, see if he'll uh, maybe this 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 Christmas he'll probably help out Relic the Clown. Now, like I said, uh, Santa Claus goes live from the United States uh, when he does go live, and uh, so and I so we kind of go live from all over the place, and um, and that kind of stuff as well. Excuse me, I had the burpees. So far, uh, once he does go live, guys, we'll also send you an invite for that. But we've been missing him the last uh, the last few days. Um, he's been sneaking. Santa Claus has been sneaking on live, and we and ourselves here in this this department have been missing him. Um, and that kind kind of thing. Either either we're getting up, maybe we slept in too late or whatever, um, because like I said, our, this our health department don't get up till twelve thirty in the afternoon. Um, again, we're if we're what you call um, volunteer coordinations of Christmas operations. So, uh, department, which is our elf department here, um. So that way it gives you kind of a bit of a bit of an up, 
upbeat. I want that that what we do. Uh, so again, we do like 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 drawing sketches, shading in, sugar shading with the the the, sh the coloring, uh, shadow shading, coloring, and uh, also to uh, what you call uh, the candy circulation department. So yeah, we got these cool uh cool what you call uh candy bracelet guys really really cool oh i don't want to bang that down too low and um so again we're gonna get that kind of a kind of a blue, blue color there too as well and um So we want to get that kind of shaded in there as well, and that kind of stuff as well. Just to let you know, our live streams, we do everything for everybody. Um, well, we technically, we don't get paid to come on here to, to do these live streams. So this is this is all done voluntarily. Um, so like I said, it is, we, we try to, we try to, when we, when we go on live stream and that, when I, when I go live, uh, we kind of, we kind of do a live stream that, that, that it at different times for everybody uh and that for for different festivities or whatever um uh so always oh, so it's last year guys i do have to get last year's fashion show posted um on my youtube channel so you guys can go check that out uh so again like i said in april uh there's a wonderful fashion show <laughs> uh which is which is uh which is hosted uh which is the optimist club host is uh the fashion show every year uh in april annual fashion show they got a different theme every year um again i'm not sure what their theme is going to be for this year um so again since i'm not part of optimist anymore i was la all last year i didn't go back this year um uh, like I, so again, uh, so it's whatever uh, they've decided what the theme is going to be this year. Uh, last year it was an Alice in Wonderland tea party. Um, so uh, tech, tech, technically kind of thing, but they couldn't use tea party uh, because the fashion show is the, the fashion show is liquor licensed uh, because it's done in a hall and they they have to hire bartenders and stuff like that. Uh, because the the optimist uh, has they're into selling beer. Um, my function is not selling beer. Everybody has to buy their own at the liquor store. Um, so my friends that come, they have to buy their own, bring their own own stuff with them, because and that kind of stuff for the night. Um, so so that way it is uh, to keep them going all night long. So. So again, like I said, it, it is not a it's not a it's not a hall a banquet hall type setting. Uh, it is just 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 a friend social gathering. Um, but uh, yeah, so so last year uh, the fashion show uh, was uh, what was it? Uh, we were joking. Uh, we changed it around and called it Allison Alice Allison and Drunken Land. <laughs> uh, Hang on a second, guys. Hello? Hello? No? Nobody there. That's okay. <laughs> uh, probably just somebody checking up on ourselves out in here. Probably the big guy playing with the telephone. He ain't got the wrong number. Got the wrong department, like he always does. Um... Uh, who do you have coming in? Hey, Richard, how you doing? And uh, so again, we kind of kind of kind of get that blue in there as well. And um, so again, we kind of kind of get that blue in there as well. Make it kind of a bluish color. Um, We'll get kind of the green now. So the one green, actually I have one green that is actually falling apart. Um, 
I probably will not use it much longer. I'm going to have to substitute back to the new set. And, uh, so far, they're just, uh, what you call flower sketches. This is all I've, I've got done in the works right now. Um, I'm working on the Christmas sketches. And, uh, also, too, they'll make wonderful tattoos, too, guys. Also, too, it would make wonderful tattoos as well once they're cheated in. Um, for something this size, you're probably looking at it, probably a couple $12,000 just to get it tattooed. Um, and... Um, at least... Those will be into tattoos and that. So again, we'll kind of get this all kind of updated here. And... So again, I'm going to shade that kind of in, kind of a color, color shade, guys. And um, so I just wanted to keep also, too, I was just keeping you up for the new Year, the Happy New Year's Lounge when it starts uh, the New Year's Eve night. Um, for New Year's Eve, guys, it is going to be different. Uh, again, that's going to be an adult night. Um and that so uh, usually because that that night we're just only gonna have like adult followers than anything. Um, right now with Christmas, uh, again the Christmas shows that I'm like the Christmas Elf Lounge that I'm doing now is for all ages, and uh, for is anybody and that kind of thing. It's just New Year's Eve, guys. It's gonna be the special night, um, and that kind kind of stuff as well. Uh, so so again, that is going to be the. Uh, that is basically the, the, the main special night because of it being New Year's and ringing in the New Year. Uh, again, we have we have agreed that uh, because the fact there's so much big issues with uh, with Facebook company staff alone uh, with the music end of things. Uh, every time we try to play, like I said, every time this uh, we try to play CDs in the background or play music, uh, we get warning notices after warning notices. Uh, so again, I don't want to go through the whole night with those uh, about the 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 music being a being a problem with the live stream. Uh, so again, there is not going to be any music going on that night. Uh, so it's strictly going to be no music. Um, so so again, like I said, it, it is um, and that. Um, I again, we should be able allowed to be uh, because I've every time I I watch on here all the other live streamers on here, they've they've got CDs playing in the background unless unless they're it's different if they're radio if they're an actual uh, what you call a, an actual DJ center uh, or whatever or or a live musician or whatever. Hang on a second, this phone's gonna drive me nuts. Hello. Uh, whatever. So, um, anyhow, so like I said, there is, uh, so, so again, we, we are not allowed to, uh, we're not allowed to play any music on my Facebook stream. Uh, so, so basically we are, um, going, so again, um, I didn't, again, I didn't, I didn't install no security software. Um, so so anyhow uh that's just uh never worry about those calls guys they're hackers they're, they gotta be careful because they could be hackers or they could be you know fraud callers um voice automatic machines that kind of stuff uh so i avoid them as much as possible 
Uh, like I said, there's no music. Like I said, we are not allowed to play any music on here. And uh, so, so again, the other the other live live streamers, unless they're in act, unless they're uh, what you call there, the, there's live musicians on their live stream, or if there is like a live band on their stream or whatever, uh, or there's an actual DJ in the background, or it's the artist themselves, um, then that is that is performing. Uh, CDs are not permitted, I guess, in the background. Uh, again, it is it is a big it is a big copyright violation issue. Uh, so everything has to be non music, um, and that kind of kind of stuff as well. So, um, and that kind of kind of stuff as well. So, um, So again, we got a little bit of the green, and um, so again, we're kind of, kind of doing some kind of kind of kind of kind of kind of kind of doing what you call kind of a, a, like a stunt as uh, the um, the um, st the uh, what you call stench the stencil sketching sketching, and uh, kind of a bit of a bit of a kind of a different colors in here, and uh, so anyhow, the sketching is actually pre done before I come on live, and then all I have to do is just shade it on in. Um, So again, we're gonna get this other one. It's kind of a green color. Uh, also, too, I've also told my wife too uh, that uh, because we're Facebook Live, uh, when we go Facebook Live, um, that the fact she cannot even play her TV in the background uh, because it, it is it, it is it overrides my live streams, and uh, there is. It, it picks up as as audio, apparently. So technically, like I said, it, anytime I go live, the whole entire house has to be thoroughly um, television show background uh, and totally music free zone. So it has to be totally one hundred percent quiet, um, and that kind of thing. So. So anyhow, um, so again, I'm going to kind of get that kind of a green color. So again, I got, got kind of a green color here, in that as well. So again, get kind of a green color in there as well.
So yeah, I get kind of a brown color going this way. Make it kind of a kind of a brown leaf at least. That way it is kind of getting that in there. Still don't know how I'm going to, still have to figure out how I'm going to live stream the Santa Claus Parade for you guys uh, 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 this year when it goes by. Still got to figure that out still. Um, last year, we would just be, were barely able to get it, to slide it in. Um, but because uh, on how sticky your Facebook is getting, and I can't help it if the Santa Claus Parade's going down the street and they're, and they're playing music or Midnight Blue is out side on the patio pod patio playing your guitars or playing the music before it starts uh because this is just the way uh the way wireton is with their with their here uh with their santa claus parade it is and make a big thing out of it outside um it is not like the big uh, big cities uh where you just hear the bands in the parade um here they've actually have a musician band on top of that before the parade starts to sing you know playing christmas carol songs and whatever out the front uh, on the patio pod patio um so so again like last year we we were able to get to slide it in this year i have to figure out how we're going to slide that in um that the fact that like the floats are going to be playing music the salvation army is going to be playing music on their floats uh, just mind you how the Salvation Army is different here, guys. They don't march. Um, they're young enough. The band is young enough to march. But uh, I can understand it if it is a junior band, they're, 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 they're little kids, it'll be hard for them to mar march down the street. That is that is understandable because, you know, kids kids are hyper. Uh, I know I've got a four-legged kid here that, that is hyper. Um but uh, the senior band guys itself doesn't march, but yet some of them are still young enough in there uh, to march, but they just choose not to. Uh, they sit on the side of the street corner, uh, like they do remember Day Parade, or they sit on the float. Uh, the Salvation Army, they never at all, the soldier, the Salvation Army soldiers here don't march down through the parade route. It'd be nice to see them start doing that, go back to old traditions, uh, but no, they don't do that here. Um, Hey Jessica, how you doing? And uh, hey Krissa. Um not like I said, not the Salvation Army I remember. <laughs> Sorry, it hasn't. Uh anybody who remembers when we were growing up, um it was old enough to remember as you're growing up how uh, you know for, for generations, uh how the Salvation Army were, were, were like the Legion or the um uh you know, my, the actual marching bands they'd actually no matter what type of weather it was, that you'd see them marching down the street. Um, Wyerton here, they don't. Uh, <laughs> uh, the senior band, yes, a lot of the a lot of the actual seniors in it. Uh, a lot of the elderly ones are not around anymore, or either not in senior homes or whatever. But some of them are still young enough to march. Um, but uh, they just choose not to. I'm gonna shoot this, smash this phone. Just kidding. Hello? 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 Uh, 
Uh, she's not here at the moment. Can I have an alternate number for our camera? Uh, I don't have an alternate alternate number number. Sorry. Okay. Bye. Ah. Could it be another one of those busy days? Definitely not the rig guy. Um, uh, haters. <laughs> I gotta love them. Pretty bad when they start phoning your house line. Um, that's okay. Um, I kind of brush them off in the wind. Um, so anyhow, uh, we're gonna get on with um, get on with the brown here and that leastly. I and uh, now we, I guess you can tell New Year's is coming. Uh, like I said, so I, now you know what kind of night we're gonna be looking forward to. Comedy night coming up. I, I even find that so too comical. So again, we're gonna get get that leaf in there as well. So, so again, so again, also too, like I said, it's the Christmas Eve lounge. So, uh, Christmas Eve lounge. <laughs> We're not even Christmas Eve yet. Uh, the Christmas Elf Lounge live, guys. So that's when the Christmas when it's the Christmas Elf Lounge here, like like now and uh, and up to Christmas Eve. It is uh, all ages are welcome to join in, and uh, and that's just New Year's Eve, guys. That it's gonna be is because it's New Year's Eve is an adult celebration night to ring in the new year and uh party night and uh so so again that'll be live for you guys and that and that night we get a lot more more we'll get a lot more followers that but a lot we'll definitely get a lot of adult followers like myself um that's why it's gonna be 19 plus i am 38 years of age so that's why i posted i posted it as 19 uh, plus, because if 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 I've got a few friends over, you know, and and we have like like even if we have like even 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 they'll be like my friends will be bringing their own own cases of beer with them, um, and that kind of thing, and I'll be having mine. But th that's the reason why it's a nineteen plus show. Could be a nineteen plus is because the alcohol alcohol being on here, uh, with it being a party, adult celebration, New Year's, you know fun night uh lots of there's gonna be lots of food on the table too as well uh, i've got that all all kind of set up kind of uh with the shrimp tray uh probably the salami kibosh and eats that kind of stuff um it is going to be a jokers on duty night definitely uh so again it is going to either by script or uh it'll either by be my by memory it depends on how the night goes uh so we again uh it may could get a little comical, uh, so again it, it'll be kind of a bit of a, a bit of a um, um, uh, what you call um, kind of what you call one of those those comic nights and that kind of stuff as well. So again, we're gonna get, get the brown in here and So again, we get a little bit of a brown in here. So again, we want to get that kind of a brown color in there as well. So.
So anyhow. But yeah, like I was saying, there is a lot of live streamers on here, guys. A lot of them are actually, um, you know, just people that come on live like I do. But then they, they sit there and they, they, they've got their CD players going in the background. And Facebook never harms them. Um, or they never get to notices. Uh, so again, we, so we thought it was okay to play CDs in the background. I thought it was okay to play CDs in the background, so I've tried it a couple times, and uh, Facebook was just getting on here, getting uh, Facebook staff companies getting too freaking snitty. Uh, so we'd have to put it that way, uh, you know, started harassing this show, but they we're not harassing the other ones. Uh, so, uh, so again, so that's just why why is it basically, basically uh, there was times we were able to slide them through, but. Uh, that but um that's why i said new year's guys is not and like like uh this is why we kind of actually uh this is why we cut the christmas music off and uh so uh, again and also for new year's is not going to be any music um so so that's that's the reason why when new year's when we go live guys there's not going to be any music at all um so no matter if it's, I guess, no matter, I guess it, it is, it, it is Facebook is, is getting, is, is, is actually um, starting to be <laughs> a pain in their butt. Um, but that is okay. But we continue our shows on as regular scheduled. And uh, so, so as long as, it, as long as we're not agreeing not to play any more music, definitely now we have to agree not to play any more music. Um, so it, like I said, so, so technically it is, uh, there's going to be no jeopardization of anything. Uh, so basically it's basically the only thing it is all the thing that the only pick on is, is music. Um, so, so again, it is, uh, should be actually that I did, it should be illegal. Of, it should, music should be a, should be a, should be a right than anything. Um, because if all the way I see it is if all the other live streamers can come on here, uh, like I've seen some of the other shows, if they can come on here and play CDs in the background and, you know, fire up their boom box or, you know, the jukebox or whatever, um, you know, or play CDs in the background and not be harassed by Facebook. Uh, I think my show should be allowed to as well. I think we should have every, this uh, have the same rights as everybody else. Uh, but apparently we don't. Um, so, so, so no matter if it's, you know, no matter if it's, uh, you know, it is, it is, it's something to do with Facebook itself. The moment they hear music, uh, again, they have done this to a couple of live musicians as well. Um, they have actually, they've actually, um, uh, Prada West, uh, actually, uh, you know, was, uh, was playing his own CD that he wrote and published his own album and he, and he's a celebrity and, uh, Facebook harassed him. Um, so, uh, like even with some of the, a lot of the churches too, um, uh, you know, when they do their Sunday morning services, they get up and play the guitar. They've had a couple of times where they've had Facebook when they go Facebook live, just because the fact they're playing music, uh, on their live stream, Facebook has gotten in there with copyright notices and have ra ha have harassed them. Um, you know, so I mean, it is uh, it is getting so bad. <laughs> um, so are, are trying are trying to say, oh, what the churches are playing belongs to somebody else. Um, type notices, and. Uh, you know, and uh, trying to uh, trying to throw in, you know, uh, try to push the copyright notices. Um, so, like I said, that is uh, so. So again, this is uh, so again. Uh, like I said, we don't have a problem with being music free if we have to be. Uh, like I said before, a couple times. I, 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 how many times last year I've said this, and then we've tried it, kept trying it, trying it, trying it. Uh, definitely at this point, uh, you know, we definitely not definitely. Uh, we're actually not going to uh, try to push it any further. Um, 
so uh, so again, like I said, it is. Uh, so again, like I said, everything is gonna be totally. So when I so when our shows go live, uh, we have to be the quietest shows out of them all. Uh, I do apologize for that, um, but uh, it is you know it is. It is. It is not. It, I like. I said. It is not right. It's not. Again, like I said, it's not fair. But uh, you know, it is. Like as much as I like Relic the Clown, he has cool live streams. But he's another one when he comes on, guys. Uh, he's bebop into a CD player. Uh, you know, he's got always music going in the background. Um, you know, and uh, you know, and, and that and that 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 kind of thing. So other live streamers that follow. Right, figure like us, figure well, okay, it's got to be okay then. And then we try it for a bit. Sometimes it just slides in there, and then sometimes you know, we get the notices from Facebook says, uh, Excuse me, shut it off, or we're gonna shut you off. Um, <laughs> what is that, too? So, like I said, it is so to prevent that from happening, uh, we're definitely now kind of say, No, our shows cannot do. Uh, and like I said, again, it's not fair to us, but uh. You know, when I do my live streams, I've got to be one of the quietest streams ever. And it uh, means, you know, I cannot have a simple CD playing in the background. Uh, even though, yes, it does draw a lot of people in because pe that's what brings your followers in. Um, you know, that's 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 what, that what that's main part of it that draws your followers in uh, to watch your live streams. Um is the music <laughs> um there i know there's a couple times uh midnight blue has gone live too with a couple of their live events uh and uh when they did their gigs at canada day here or whatever uh themselves and they're the act they're actual musicians like midnight blue rodeo been up there on the stage playing and uh you know their their band crew's been live streaming them they've also had been harassed by facebook by by facebook company staff too as well uh and they're actual licensed those guys there are the licensed musicians that are actually up there playing their own songs um so like i said it is you know it is 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 either facebook is electronically going woohoo in the head they think every they think everybody is a machine. They think everybody's a robot. That is not true. <laughs> I have a headset, yes, with a flashlight with with LED lights in it. I'm not a robot. Um, but they they think automatically that every live streamer that comes on here is a robot or or a machine operated, uh, not real people. Um, this is what I said. So. Uh, like I said, so yeah, we, like I said, we, we will avoid, uh, definitely now we definitely have, now we're, we're going to say that is it. We're done with the, with trying to play any CDs on here. Um, but we just can't figure out, like I said, nobody's on here really copying anybody, uh, you know, that, that kind of thing. But I do see a lot of live streamers that have come on here. Uh, in the last few years, and you know, they they they, they walk in. Uh, some guy actually walked in, and when I was at karaoke, and had live stream me, and I didn't even know he was live streaming me when I was on karaoke because I couldn't have done it myself when I was doing karaoke because I was up on the stage with a microphone in my hand, um, and not reading the karaoke machine. Uh, so uh, so a friend of mine was was at the at, at the bar at the Legion and live had live streaming. I didn't even know he was live streaming me, uh, and I was singing I was singing the karaoke songs. Uh, with Lenny's karaoke and that kind of stuff as well. Um, so, so again, like I said, it's uh, like I said, there is a lot. There's, there's, there's just a lot to this, to this, uh, to this music thing. It's complicated, um, but. You know, there's been even a radio, the, like Chaos Radio went live a couple times too as well in uh, Fort McMurray, Alberta, and uh, 91.1. Rick went live a couple times, and uh, he had the same problem with Facebook. Uh, so he stopped uh, So because he's an actual big-time actual uh, media radio station. Uh, he started having problems with the Facebook staff company itself um the same way and and they're an actual radio station 
Christian, uh, they're, they're a gospel Christian oriented radio station. And they were having, and they were getting threatening notices and that from Facebook stuff. So, so again, like I said, so, so again, we, 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 this time technically, uh, we cannot have music on here. It's a drag. Sorry, guys. So you guys gonna, uh, but again, I am not going to try to make these live streams, uh, as boring. Uh, but I'm going to find a way uh, to actually keep them as live and live and enjoyable uh, as much as possible. Uh, so like I said, New Year's Eve, guys, is going to be kind of kind of lively. But again, like I said, there's going to be, again, it's kind of, we, we kind of, we're kind of jig, pu jigsaw puzzling. Uh, so again, there is, uh, there's going to be no, uh, again, there's going to be no music that night. And uh, the TVs, uh, like I told my wife, I said the TVs are off limits and locked down. Because uh, when I go live, I cannot have no audio sounding or uh, microphones by itself. Yes, it's fine. Um, anything that's audio of music or that that's it, uh, what you call feeding music to your live stream not allowed um apparently like i said i don't think gus al's only charles dickens facebook <laughs> didn't work <laughs> darn i thought oh that and we were just playing christmas music because christmas time is coming up um because our shows we start early uh for christmas and that kind of stuff as well so we're on time but, uh, you know, they, they had a problem with gospel Christmas music. So I said, heck with it. Um, you know, like, like I said, so, so we said that was it. We were going to Charles Dickens them to, you know, let us play music. It didn't work. <laughs> um, but other than that, uh, but like I said, but yeah, we, ha we can't. Music is, is being too much of a problem with this bunch of it. That runs this Facebook software. Um, there's a lot of people that are unhappy with that, um, that kind of thing, especially when they see other live streamers on here being able to play CDs or allowed to have their DJ boom boxes on here, uh, you know, allowed to play CDs in the background. And they can't figure out why some live streamers are allowed to play music and not get touched. Um, but yet others get harassed. So, uh, like myself, so like I said, this is, uh, this is, uh, this is, a, is, is, is becoming what is going to come into what you call, um, a little bit of a, a bit of a, bit of an anger. But like I said, I always, like I said, me, I've always, uh, keep myself in a positive manner as much as possible. Some of these other live streamers though, that are like me. Uh, the, like I said, I'm the positive and calmest one on here. The other ones are not so calm. Uh, I've heard them come on here and do a live Facebook, you know, like a live Facebook threat to Facebook staff and company, uh, you know, where they're swearing, they're cursing and everything else like that, mouthing off and uh, totally shooting the sailor mouth right off. Um, you know, no word of a lie, uh, totally snapping. And mouthing off, and uh, get you know starting totally starting a big starting a big uh, you know riot, uh, you know sh sh you know shooting off their mouth too too heavily and too fast, um, and with the swearing and the language and everything else like that, uh, but yet, but yet the Facebook company doesn't doesn't ever do anything with those people. Uh, it's always the innocent ones that ain't doing anything wrong that get picked, and I've noticed that. And uh, and that kind of stuff as well, um, but like I said, our shows we continue. Uh, like I said, even if we continue without the music, we can do that. That's not we don't have a problem with that. Oh, my coffee's cold now. So like I like I always told told my wife, I said, I'm sorry. She gets mad too because she's watching her YouTube channel in the other room. She gets so so ticked off with me over this um because she again i don't blame her because she says you know this is my house i'm going to play music all i like or whatever but i and i do apologize i cannot control that she has an attitude issue and an anger problem over it but like i said when i go live i cannot have i cannot have tv shows going in the background i i, I can't have stuff like little house in the prairie theme song being played in the background from anywhere um it has to be 100 percent quiet as much as I don't agree with this, um, 
and it's like Facebook is like telling me I'm telling like basically it seems like Facebook's telling me that I got to order and totally boss my wife around uh, because she can't play her TV shows. She can't play her TV, you know, or play her Nintendo game in the background because Facebook company has a problem with it. Um, because I do live stream out of my own home, uh, like most streamers do. Um, so, you know, and they do this, they do this, they, they, they're always, they're always doing this fancy, uh, you know, uh, sending threatening notices and everything else like this. Uh, so, so again, this is why I said, I said to my wife, I cannot handle, uh, all if I, if I'm volunteering my time, like MFers to, uh, to actually bring you live and do a live show for you guys, uh, to devote that time to you guys for like for Christmas, like Christmas elf lounge and that, uh, you know, I said, I said to my wife, I said the times even kind of, and like I said, with new year's being a special night, when we go live new year's, there's not to be a single radio playing. There's not to be a single TV playing. I said, because I'm not going to have my live streams jeopardized because of something they hear you playing in the background. And, and I get accused, uh, of, of, of copywriting. Um, I said, because I said, when we go live, I said, we can't have that. Sh uh, sorry. You can't have that stuff playing in the background. Um, she's getting mad over it big time herself and, uh, and that, and that, and that, and that kind of thing. But I'm sorry. It is just, uh, I'm not trying to be mean about it. It is, it is Facebook community. Um, you know, it is, it is, it is an issue that needs to be addressed big time to Facebook itself. Uh, that if, if one show cannot have CD players going, uh, then they need to go through all their whole and touch sweep through the whole entire Facebook community and nail every single Facebooker that is playing CDs in the background. If they're not a license, if they're not an actual guitar playing musician or, uh, you know, or, or, or coming from a radio DJ, um, station DJ, um, that so the people that are actually sitting on their live stream playing CD players, Facebook needs to needs to do the same thing to them that they've they've done to me. Um, you know that is it, it is they it, they cannot they cannot enforce the rules just on one live streamer. They got to enforce the rules on every single one. Uh, they it means they got to do a whole wipe through. <laughs> uh, or if they or if they don't want to do that, then they have to leave these shows alone. Um, you know that is that is what I'm saying. So so technically. Uh, we have just as much right on these shows to play a C play CDs in the background or the radio, just like anybody else. Um, and that kind of, kind of stuff. And I, I, I've said that before, but not, like I said, I'm not, not in a swearing mode or, a, you know, very harsh mode. Uh, that's the politest I'm going to stay at. But like I said, I had before that, uh, if it keeps, you know, if Facebook is still going to have an issue with, uh, CD with CDs being played in the background or music of any kind, then like I said, our shows won't. Uh, again, like I said, uh, that's why when we tried tried the Christmas music and that kind of stuff, we did cut it off. Um, so immediately, so once the agents started poking in, uh, we had cut the Christmas music right off. And generally, um, so again, that is, so we're keeping that uh, to a kind of, kind of a polite, as much of a polite level. But like I said, uh, the other streamers, guys, are not going to be like me. Uh, they're going to be on here swearing, mouthing off, cursing at Facebook company, uh, you know, shooting the language off. Uh, again, uh, like I said, getting very violent and aggressive. Uh, so like, I mean, there's a couple times too. I have heard, I've even heard as much as he seems to be a nice guy. There's a couple times I've even heard, uh, you know, I, I've, I, I, I've even heard Relic the Clown get very mouthy on his live stream, uh, where he has come out with the heavy language. Um, so like I said, it is, uh, it definitely with him though, he is never, um, his live streams are never, ever a children type show. Uh, I don't think ever was to begin with. Uh, I think he was more, more because he reason he goes on after dark uh, is he's got the after dark creepy hollows is because he's he's always been more of an adult type sh following show than anything. Um, 
but uh, you know, but like I said, he like I said, I have nothing against guy. I think he's a cool guy. I think, you know, I love like I mean, I you know, I think it is more the fact that people have a problem with uh, the image of clowns than anything. Uh, and I think that is getting a little t getting to a little bit of a too much of a racism uh, because there is nothing wrong with clowns. Uh, again, like I said, my grandfather, even though he was a World War II veteran and World War One and World War Two, he was also a Shriner and he worked with the Shriner Circus. So he worked with a whole circus full of clowns. Uh, he was a circus clown himself uh, and ringleader and uh, an animal trainer. So, like I said, it, it is. I mean, it is. You know. It is. If internet had been around back those days, uh, I tell you, he'd uh, he he'd def definitely be spending the bottle. Um, but uh, just back those, it was glad back those days. You know, it it wasn't bad. But it, I get too also too because again, we're in a generation now that everybody's claiming clown phobiaism uh, because we're afraid of clowns because of oh, of all the all the all the fake if I can put it in a polite way, all the fake nonsense or like even I've heard, uh, I am not putting him on a high pedal stone. I did love his apprenticeship shows uh, before he got into politics. Uh, but like even Donald Trump has said a couple of times, like he told the bunch at CNN, uh, some of the stuff they air is garbage. It's fake. Uh, you know, it is, it, it is, it is, it, it is, it's not amusing uh, because a lot of it is nothing but, propaganda and lies that the cnn has been constantly spreading um but the only time you have a good guys is new year's eve uh but again because they've got the the, the, the countdown in times square um you know so i kind of out of all the things i think that's the smartest thing he's ever said um you know on that part of it when it came, came down to came down to 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 the in the media um what you call it uh, the media, the media community. Um, so, you know, it is, uh, again, like I said, don't put him on a high pedal stone or nothing. I, 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 you, I, like I said, I used to follow the guy. He was great when he was, like I said, when he was a TV, when he had his TV shows, um, when he did the apprenticeship, he did the celebrity apprenticeship. Uh, I always remember, even when I was a kid, I used to watch him, how he used to tell everybody they're fired and everything else like that. Uh, when he had those shows, and he made the appearance in Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, at the Ramada Plaza Ding Dang Hotel. <laughs> uh, the one scene where him and Molly McCulkin, that was the best scene I think I've ever seen him play um, in a movie role. Uh, and that kind of thing. And I, I always thought he was going to go directly 100% with, with the movie industry, even though he does a big time in Hollywood or, or had a career big time in Hollywood and politics. I was shocked that he, he stepped up to a pol going going into American politics. And that almost gave me a heart attack when he got elected in. And that down there. I Like I said, my shows are not trying to get into politics of any kind, but I was shocked when I, I seen that come across Facebook and he got elect elected into the White House. I, I, I mean, I almost took a heart attack on that one. Um, I have <laughs> that one. Um, I'm like think, yeah, he, you know, he's he's big time with the WWE. Had a was on for like a season, and then he had his own TV shows, and then he was in in the he had a, he was in a movie, a couple movies, a couple roles in uh, Home Alone Two, Lost in New York, and a couple movie sets. And I thought, wow, here's a guy that I always liked and admired, and he's gonna go Hollywood. No, what does he do? He goes American politics instead of Hollywood. He goes above Hollywood. He goes goes to the big high seat in as President Dency of the White House of the United States. Uh, so down there. Uh, so I'm like, I'm like, okay, that that is that was a big that was I have to grant that was just one hell of a uh, heck of a shocker. I can put that. Um, but again, like I said, again, I'm not trying to get into politics and anything else like that. Uh, but again, like I said, it just shocked me the most than anything, guys. Uh, or should I? Uh, the cleaner way to put it is H E double hockey sticks, the way everybody puts it. Um, it's a nicer way to put it. And. Um, So again, I'm gonna get the, again. I'm gonna get get the top leaf here as much as possible, and uh, so again, like I said, there is 
too. We're going to get that in there as well. Oh, also, too, guys, you can follow the Christmas Elf Lounge page. I have done up a page, guys. Uh, it does, it'll, if, it, it says stuff, it'll say stuff on there for boosting. Um, to boost it, uh, to let you know, it is not me that is. Uh, when you build, when you build, guys, when you guys, Facebook is free for Facebook users to use and to build pages. Um, when you go to actually boost somebody's video or pictures, uh, just uh, just be advised, it is not me making money off of people. It is the Facebook staff company itself that is charging you to boost those pages. And it has nothing to do with me. Um, I try to keep my shows as free as possible. Uh, I don't. I won't even put a PayPal poll on here. Um, some people do put a, have a PayPal poll. The Psychic TV guys now they have uh, they make you pay to follow their live streams. Uh, so if you want a psychic reading done, uh, some of them you do have to pay to follow their streams. Some of them it's free to follow their streams. But if you want a psychic reading done, if you write this, if you want a psychic reading done, you got to pay for it. Uh, boom pops up a credit card PayPal uh, PayPal poll. Um, so uh, so again and again, it's not the psychics that are making the money, guys. It's Facebook. It, it is it is the actual Facebook uh, company software company staff itself that is making the money off you. It is not the individual that's doing the live streaming. So that way, you guys get that under a clearing of understanding. Um, and that, unless they get, unless the individuals are getting on like uh, the shock and pearls and they're selling stuff, uh, that 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 kind of stuff. That is unless unless their unless their show has to do with like Avon and they're selling stuff. And it's the Avon lady coming on live, or it's a pearl, it's a shocking pearl lady is coming on live. I guess I call them all ladies because they're all into the, the nice pearls and they show you how to make the pearls and that kind of stuff. A pearl making kit, jewelry making kit. Some of them a lot, a lot of neat. Some of them they, they've they've got a quite a lot of good deals though too. If you guys do follow those uh, follow those streams, they got a nice, nice, nice lot of stuff on there, especially around Christmas time. Um, so uh, so again, like I said, it's uh, again we just uh, again it is it is it, it is just I'm uh, just explaining on how kind of how the Facebook community kind of works. Um, again, there's some elves on here too, not like my. Uh, some elves on here they, they do charge for um, they they will sell stuff because um, they're money grabbers. <laughs> uh, we're 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 softy hardies at this at uh, this department. Uh, these sketches I can do up free for people, not a problem. Um, I just I can't afford to to mail any out of out of out of on uh, out of the town uh, out of here out of Wyerton or whatever uh, the post office fees, but uh, that's why so far it's just gonna be locally. But later on, um, like I said, uh, we will uh, we'll check in to see how much it will cost to to actually put them in or, or even put them in a, or, or send them out. And they make make wonderful books too, as well, guys. If you guys are looking to make books or whatever. And add some writing script, uh, kind of put writing across them, so you know you can uh, you can you can actually make a book out of them as well, and um, buy the proper book binding stuff and make picture books out of them. Kids love picture books. Uh, I did one in a public school. I remember that when I was in public school when I was grade eight, we did book we did children's we did up actual illustrated uh, children's books. Uh, some of them were so good at some of the some of the kids in my class were so artistic and good. Theirs actually got published with the big novels and the big bookstores, companies. Um, so, like I said, that is uh, again we wanted to we wanted to get that on there as possible. Um, So again, we're gonna get a little bit of again. We're gonna get some more, a little bit of the pink here on the go, guys, and get a kind of a pink flower in here as well. And um, Okay, so 
again we get that around there So again, I got a little bit of blue, and uh, again, so we want to get around the blue there again as much as possible, guys. And um, and uh, so anyhow. Get some of the orange on the go here as well. And uh, I do have Twitch. Uh, I do have a Twitch account, uh, but I do not know how to go live on Twitch. I've never figured that out yet. Um, I might have to actually update my Twitch account too. Uh, it might be outdated. Um, but again, I do not know how to go live on, uh, to actually live stream on Twitch. So lately I've been just using the, just the Twitch dashboard TV to, 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 to put, put these shows up to as well and up to my YouTube channel. So again, like I said, there is, um, So again, I get kind of orange in there as well. It's a little extra hard work, but uh, it is. It is at least it is going to be, and also too, there's this new thing. There's this new style of uh, what you call uh, Facebook paging, which is called Watch Party. I don't even know what that they, they mean by that. It mean means you can invite people to. It means you purpleize it, uh, like you can like Twitch and uh around the border of it and you can invite people to watch it and that kind of stuff as well and my older sister if you like these videos by the way have fun i have got lots if you go to my youtube channel uh subscribe to my youtube channel to be over there uh have fun putting all these because uh, I know you like like taking my home videos and putting them to like a DVD. Have fun putting uh, putting them to a DVD because uh, <laughs> you're gonna have fun because there's there's a whole bunch there, and I've got a whole bunch more going up to YouTube eventually uh, from last year's Halloween. So <laughs> have fun, sis. <laughs> I tell you, because uh, there is lots there. Um, That's all I can say on that one. Um, I think I think same with photos too. I think that uh, it's got to be one of the largest. It's got to be one of the largest. Uh, Just videos, uh, yes. Yeah, so, uh, sometimes, yes, my videos can can be a little bit quite long, but um, again, we like like to get a had a schedule, and we like like to pre-record before Christmas. So that way, you know, like I said, it is because uh, on this uh, in Canada here, Christmas starts because uh, our Thanksgiving is in October in Canada here. And uh, so our Christmas starts right directly after Remember. So our uh, so our Christmas festivities start picking up after Remembrance Day. Um, so right after Remembrance Day is when our Christmas festivities start coming together, and that kind of stuff as well. I still have a little bit more that I want to add to the Christmas Elf Lounge here a bit up to the up up till Christmas Eve. And uh, so again, Christmas Eve is going to be the last. 
uh, Christmas Elf Lounge because it's Christmas Eve, uh, because it is a big night for the elves. And uh, so again, there is uh, again was again it's Santa's big night or whatever for the kids. So uh, so again, Christmas Eve Lounge is is gonna go up to Christmas uh, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, guys. The big lights are gonna be turned on, and you guys are gonna get. A, before it changes over the half, before we get set up, before we change over and start setting up for the Happy New Year's Lounge, um, getting ready for New Year's. Uh, Christmas Day is going to be a big walkthrough tour on on the Christmas uh, on the on the uh, what you call call the Christmas the Christmas Elf Lounge. So you get to see it one more time in a walkthrough in a video. Um, so far, you've seen it in pictures, but you get to actually see an actual walkthrough. And uh, so so that will be Christmas Day. Um, uh, on how the this setup looked like and uh so uh, so again uh again like i said there will be um there'll, there'll be that on christmas day that walk through and then uh, and then christmas day afternoon uh is when the big the big change around is going to happen and uh it is going to be it, everything's going to be slowly being being set up for the happy new year's happy new year's lounge Happy New Year's Eve lounge. So that way it is all ready for the 31st. So we're not falling behind uh, on, on any, uh, at any point in time because we want to be ahead of everything. Uh, so, so again, I, I, again, my supplies that I'm buying, are like, like that I'll be buying for that night for myself. And uh, like I said, like, 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 like I'll be, like I'll be buying my, 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 my beer for that night for myself. Um, so, uh, so again, that'll be that'll be slowly coming in. Uh, be, I'll be buying that up slowly. Um, the food trays that I'm going to be pointing out is that's going to be slowly stuff we're going to be buying, uh, being bought up to as well slowly. And um, so that that way that night is an actual uh, is all ready to go in the in the works to go to be to be on the go, and. Uh, and that kind of stuff. So, so again, it is just doing my grocery list and uh, doing my doing my grocery list on. Um, so again, my wife is buying half of it, and I'm buying half. So, uh, like I said, so it is. Uh, so, like I said, it is. It is slowly building up, and it's gonna. And like I said, I save it all up for New Year's. Put it away. Save it all up for New Year's. And then New Year's, guys, is going to be the big, 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 big what you call live celebration night, into the 2019. So that will be in general all ready to go that night. So we're not behind. And uh, so if you want to follow that, feel free to follow that night. Feel free to. You don't have to if you don't wish to. Uh, some people will. Some people won't feel comfortable following that. Um, due to that, the that that there may be uh, that we do respect respect the fact because of the uh, fact there may be Christian beliefs or whatever uh, may not be into following any, any New Year's kind of night because it, it is a big it it is a big party night uh, so again it is uh, that is that is quite understandable um, and then uh, the Timothy Plain show will be will be no but, oh man there goes my foot. Uh, all be a brand new, a uh, brand new, fresh start in the new year. So, uh, in Jan starting uh, January second, the Timothy Plain show uh, is is going to pick up. So, so again, New Year's Eve is also going to be a special, uh, what you call a special Joker's on Duty night as well. Even though Joker's on Duty was completed, Joker's on Duty is going to is going to is it's going to be a Joker's on Duty night show. Uh, so again, uh, again, like I said, we may not do it the countdown the way Joker's on Duty does it because again, we may or may not. Uh, now, now how we do it, how Joker's on Duty does their countdown different. Um, it's not really counting down. Uh, again, it is it is counting up into the new year. Uh, so, uh, so again, which, which Jokers on Duty starts right at, starts to count up right at 11 o'clock. It counts the digits all the way up to 12 o'clock a.m. And then at 12 o'clock a.m., Jokers on Duty shouts Happy New Year's. So it go it goes from 11 o'clock up, not down. Uh, <laughs> there's a difference. Uh, the traditional countdown goes down. Uh, Jokers on Duty counts up. So they do the opposite. Um... 
so that's 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 where the comical part of it is and uh and that kind of stuff as well okay there's a bit of a stem there i want to get that in there as well so we get that leaf there as possible so again we're gonna get that I want to get that kind of a red color too as well so it looks kind of nice looking as possible and uh, so anyhow so all uh, so from here on in you noticed uh, when we started we started with a bit of a Christmas music uh, we had a bit of a, what you call um, uh, a broadcast disruption uh, interruption and that, what that meant was that uh, uh, Facebook had intercepted, and uh, so uh, and at that time they 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 they, they that's when they said said no music. So, uh, so again, like I said, so from that point on, there is definitely going to be no music. Uh, we're not trying anymore. A couple times, sometimes we were dare we 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 were daring, attempted to try. Uh, a couple times it slid through. Sometimes it doesn't. Uh, definitely now, it, as technology is getting higher and higher and higher, it is it is it is it is it is making things more complicated. So uh, again, we cannot use. Definitely at this point, we're going to say no. Uh, we're, we're definitely going to stay away from from CDs and that kind of stuff. Um, that's why I said that anybody who's been anybody on here that has a live stream to do with video games. Uh, you guys are going to find that uh, right now it, you guys might be okay, get, might be just sliding through. But pretty soon it is you guys are going to run into an issue with, with the Facebook company itself. Uh, me, I love, I love your live streams. I think they're great. It, uh, like I said, there's, like I said I, I have nothing against people playing video games or playing CDs. It is, it is uh, Facebook is kind of due to you what they do. Can I get snitty with you like like they do with me? Uh, and like 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 I said, I am not the type that will like I'm not I'm not the type that is going to go and actually click into the report center on people. I don't do stuff like that. Um, what it is 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 Facebook. It sends agents uh, through the live streams, and they sit there and they they nose in and they watch your live streams when they see you live because when you go live. Uh, Facebook automatically alerts everybody else that you're live. Uh, so again, so if their agents are happen to be online or whatever, and they see you go live, they're they're, they're going to start poking their they're they're, they're going to start start sitting in on your live live stream. So watch that, guys. The agent, the Facebook agents are sneaking in. Um, so so again so so it definitely if if you see your broadcast being disrupted or frozen. Uh, or by any chance, or you, or, or, or you see signs of being, uh, you know, uh, because because you, it's or, or having an issue with uh, Facebook trying to kick people out. It is because you're playing CD music in on your live stream in the background, or you got a TV show going, or or it's something to do with your video game that you're playing. Uh, you know, maybe a copyright problem. <clears throat> So, uh, so again, just, just, just also, you know, be, be careful of all that. Um, so, uh, so again, like I said, so, uh, like I said, so again, we're kind of going to, going to get, get that kind of, uh, kind of colored in. Um, So yeah, get, get that kind of a get that kind of a red color as well. Oh. So again, we're gonna get that down there as well. And even my guests that are invited to New Year's Eve here, guys, uh, they're they're also gonna be advised too. Um, that uh, there's uh, when we go live with New Year's Eve celebration, 
yes, it is a New Year's Eve celebration, but because I'm going to be live on Facebook, they're going to be told that they cannot and they cannot walk around here fucking on the radios, uh, you know, on the TV sets, video games, whatever, uh, and that kind of, kind of thing. That it's definitely uh, that is going to violate Facebook staff. Um, they don't care. They they don't care for the like 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 they're okay with the stand up, you know, enjoying yourself, uh, a type night or whatever. Ha, you know, having a cup of coffee or you know, ha, you know, having the odd beer in your glass. They don't care about that because I've seen a lot of that. A lot of Facebookers, you know, that it's just the music uh, that they they pick on. Uh, it is it is is just just the music itself that they go after. Um, that is, or what you call, or, or, or if they see what, or if they see anything, this is why, this is why I put my stuff into a glass, uh, because even if they see an advertisement late or what you call an actual, uh, what you call, uh, factory label, uh, like, like anything that may say Coca-Cola on it or anything like that, if it is too visible, uh, and that, or it says coolers or anything that has coolers light written on it. It's the label that and music is what they're going to ding you on. Um, but if it is just, if it's in a glass, if, if it's on in, in a non labeled glass or whatever, uh, they won't pick up that. Or even, even if the glass, or even if the glass, uh, even if the glass does have the the embroidery on it, they won't pick on it as much. Um, it is it is if they see the full can or beer bottle itself with the label is what they're gonna pick on, um, and that because of the label. Uh, so that's why I put everything into a glass. I'm smart. So uh, there's that eyeball again. <laughs> um, So again, we're gonna get that in there as well, and uh, and also too, considering that the, that nobody's out of control too at the party, uh, everything's going well and everybody's enjoying themselves. And there's and the fact that there is no music playing. So again, that's So again, we kind kind of get that kind of a nice color there as well, and uh, get that kind of a nice color in there as well. And uh, I'm going to I get a nice purple here. So again, we're gonna get that there.
So yeah, we're gonna get, get, get that kind of in there. And uh, so get that kind of a purple leaf there a bit, guys. So that way, kind of, kind of get that a kind of a purple. So again, we kind of get that kind of a kind of a nice purple in there, and definitely, and that's one because there's a lot of white backing. Uh, again, we're gonna do shadow sugar shading in the back, guys. So that way it kind of looks kind of nice. Again, like I said, it is all kind of flowerish, but you know it is. Like I said, it is close to Christmas we're getting. Um, if I get the if I get the uh, get the Christmas sketches done in time for Christmas, then we'll be doing them. If not, we probably won't get those till next year. Um, I think I think we're gonna be stuck with flowers this season. And so anyhow we're gonna get a nice dark orange in the middle. Kind of around the nice flowery matching at least. That way it is looking nice. May go back to that orange too because that might be a good background. At least. I think that's gonna be a nice background. Oh crap, my order. Sorry guys. That one I make it Yeah no fix that up a bit. So that way it is looking nice. So again, like I said, that's make sure that's kind of got a got a nice nice texture to it a bit. Oh, and also too, if anybody's looking for a good movie to watch for for New Year's Day, uh, the Crocodile Dundee movies. Especially the very first one is actually a very good one to watch for New Year's Day. I used to watch it all the time. I always liked it.
Okay, so make sure that it's getting like a light white. So again, we get that kind of uh, kind of shaded in there as well, so that way it is kind of loosely getting a, a get a bit of a again. We get a little bit more pink here, guys, along the side. And then we'll get then we'll be ready to actually do the background shading to the to the portrait. So that'll be kind of good. So again we'll get that in there. And Now, what you guys can do, um, a lot of people do like um, having their, you know, having the privilege to have their light when they go live um, to um, do allow the, the public to put the comments in and that kind of stuff as well. Um, but what a lot of people, uh, what a lot of people do is, is to get around, around the negativity um they st they still have their live streams but they 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 totally what they do is they take um they privatize your live stream so when they go live that way you know it is it, it is uh it is not viewable to the public uh unless unless they 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 channel it to youtube um it just means that uh people can't go in and follow and leave comments um and that but i'm not that i'm not that mean to do that kind of thing uh so that's why i always say please respect these shows uh no matter what type of show it is uh even when it comes to the new year's eve uh, party live celebration show please respect the shows uh again please please uh do not put any negativity rude or perverted comments and that down below um uh, like the one guy did to me the other day. Um, that's why he was removed off my list. Um, again, he used to live here in Wyerton. Uh, I'm not, again, like I said, I, I've been, I've been, uh, again, like I, I've been friends with the guy before. And uh, like I said, but uh, that kind of drew the line there, uh, especially when it was a sexual remark comment towards my wife. That was not acceptable. Um, and definitely. And uh, I do have that comment in my phone uh, again from that from that from the show. One of them he put there uh, afterwards. The one about my wife afterwards, so it won't show up on the on, on the video. But the one there was one other one uh, that had that was related to Santa Claus itself, um, to a child a public figure, um, was very inappropriate. Um, 
so uh, so again like i said uh again like like that kind of drew kind of drew the line right there uh again with with that's why i said with the with these christmas shows alone because it is christmas time like i said uh like i said the christmas elf lounge uh again uh, the new year's eve is separate show that's going to be like new year's eve that's all for that, that show's going to be is going to be is adult following only um Again, so it is a live party celebration for New Year's. But the Christmas Eve shows that I have going now, right now, is the Christmas Elf Lounge is open to anybody. So again, with the Christmas shows, there's not a restriction. So again, with Christmas time, with uh, uh, the Christmas Elf Lounge right now that you see now with the with the drawings and that kind of thing, it is it is an open uh, public uh, live stream that anybody can watch and follow. Um, so again, this time of year, we this is the time of year around Christmas Eve, especially when we come up to Christmas Eve, especially when it comes down to the live streaming on the Santa Claus Parade. Uh, we do get children that do watch these live streams with their parents, and especially with uh, you know with 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 the with the when we can get the clips of the Santa Claus Parade is for the children, uh, because of Christmas Eve. So again, that's that's is this is why I said so. Um, that's why I said please, but uh, like I said, please keep your comments respectful below when you do comment, uh, and that and that especially on my Christmas shows, uh, they indefinitely, uh, because the fact that that uh, right now we're so close to Christmas time and these are Christmas shows, and uh, so again these are these 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 are what you call uh, Christmas Elf Lounge, and even when 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 uh, Santa Claus goes live, guys, uh, he when he does go live wherever he go live live from. Uh, even if he goes live from the states, and you guys get an invite to chat with Santa Claus, please re be respectful. I've also said that with Relic the Clown as well, uh, and that to people that uh, may may get an invite, uh, please keep your negativity comments to yourself. Uh, and that because, uh, like I said, Relic is an okay type of guy, um, but it, like I said, it is uh, again again his shows are, are are promoting the same thing that all of us shows are promoting: no negativity of any kind. Um, no matter, no matter what he's doing on there, uh, like I said, like, like, like I said, he loves his music, uh, and that, that kind of thing, as long as he slides by with his music and he's a happy go lucky man, that's all that matters. Um, so as long as he's got the followers, as long as he's got people being invited to his shows and followers, uh, if you guys do follow him or choose to follow him or accept the invite, you don't have to accept the invites, but if you do choose to follow him, like any of the live streams, please no negativity uh, of any kind uh, because it is, uh, it is, it can be very rude and disrespectful. Um, like I said, he is, uh, he's not much of an, uh, he's not much of a children's show. This is why he's on late as he is on. Uh, Cause he's more, he's more, there is sometimes children do follow his shows with their parents, but not as many, but most of his shows are done after dark. Uh, and that, and uh, same if he's on Twitch. Uh, a lot of his shows are more geared to adults only type thing. So again, cause of his, uh, you know, so, some, some of the way he is some of the way his uh, sense of humor is and uh, people may look at it being a being a behavioral issue <laughs> um, but uh, like I said he is a real he is also too a real live rap musician and singer too so a, celeb, a celebrity musician uh, so again he is the he's the one that actually published the song about the relic army um, I'm a soldier in the Relic Army. He is the actual author to that song. Um, so again, like I said, that is, uh, so please do show respect and no negativity. Same when MFers come back on too, guys. Keep your negativity opinions to yourself. Uh, that's all we ask, uh, again, if you do choose to follow them. Uh, because same with SDK Entertainment, because what you guys write in your comments, go public. <laughs> uh, so, so law live streams go public. Uh, so, so it, it, it go, if it goes from very, it can go from, you know, Facebook live to, to, uh, to a public YouTube channel, um, studio channel. So like I said, it is, uh, they, they do, they, they, the shows go public. So, so please show respect. That's all we ask. And, uh, and that, and that, 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 that kind of thing. Um, it's, uh, when you follow the live streams, it's not always about what you don't like. Uh, it is a fact that there is other people that uh, do like those live streams and that do follow them and, uh, do not ruin it for them because it only takes one. 
it only takes it only takes one or a few people to ruin it for for everybody else and uh that leaves it leaves leaves a not appropriate comment and uh and then it gets it, it, it that that comment actually gets uh, can uh, you know another live streamer goes in to follow it uh that is uh, that is uh, that that likes the shows that gets offended and actually goes re- tries to report the comment but ends up ends up accidentally reporting the the the, the, the clown his live stream so uh please do not say anything negativity or stupid <laughs> that's all we ask uh so so please show respect as much as possible um Hey Justin, how you doing? Um, hey Jessica, how you doing? Hey Richard, hi Chrissa. I see you guys still in. And uh, oh, another Jessica Johnson, how you doing? And um, so again, we're gonna get the flowers kind of kind of done up as well. And um, So anyhow, we get a kind of kind of a pink color in there as well, and uh, Yeah, I'm gonna get that kind of colored in there, and then I then I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna shade all that in, guys. Background at least, so that way we can clean up the any 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 of uh, reinforcements like around the edges and that kind of stuff as well. So anyhow, we're we're gonna put that up there, and uh, again, we're gonna show you how we get into the we get into a little bit of the back shading here, guys. And I'm gonna kind of pick out a color for this one, and uh, we want kind of a light Christmassy. Um, we haven't used much of the green, and that, and then we're gonna go into another a bit of another social here. I think this one's taking as long as again being and when it because it's christmas is coming up we're going to do a kind of a kind of a green candy cane shade uh so again like i said there is going to be uh, kind of kind of that and then uh and that so the names that i'm going to be picking out from uh that i know probably locally here that wants to come and join me new year's eve on the side of the camera i will put your names down and uh and that and that kind of stuff and uh that and I will email those people and uh, see if they're still interested if not then it might just be might be the show will still go on with just my wife and I but again same rules will apply uh, so uh, so again like I said it is uh, again she is not to, to have no TVs on because uh, I'm not having a whole night of uh, copyright messages dinging through my computer while I am live streaming. That is not going to be happening this year like it was last year. Uh, 
so uh, so again, like I said, even though it is going to be a joke on Tuesday night, guys, uh, it might be a little. It also, too, might be a little funny. Uh, but again, like I said, we want to we want to keep things under under respect as well. So there is. So again, like I told her, I said there is going to be. I we cannot have if I'm live all night long. There cannot be none of the not her room or none of anything in the background cannot have it. Not even a simple stereo or TV going. Uh, because of the fact that it is, it causes too many problems with the Facebook staff company itself. Uh, because it, it 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 picks up and overrides my live stream. Uh, because of the fact I am live on social media. Uh, but a regular microphone. Um, I do know I've, I that goes through no problem because it's not mute. It has nothing to do with music. Uh, again, it is not hooked into to a CD. It is not. It is. It it is not. Uh, it is not actually, uh, you know, connected to karaoke singing where you got music going in the background as well. Because karaoke, you have to have music going in the background to sing karaoke. Like, how dumb does Facebook company get? Um, <laughs> uh, so like I said, but the point is, uh, they have their issues. And like they said, it is still music. Um, like it or not. Um. So, so again, uh, again, we that there's only part of it we're gonna hit a brick wall, um, or or three days later I'm gonna hear from them. If I don't hear from them that night, then I'll hear from them three days later. Um, still, uh, again, with New Year's Eve, guys, there's gonna be no music at all. Even it's even gonna be quiet Christmas Eve for the to finish up the Christmas Elf Lounge here for Christmas Eve. It's gonna be very quiet. This is why I said I don't even know how I'm going to. Uh, or how I'm going to be able to pick up the Santa Claus Parade this year going down the street. Uh, again, it's going to have to be a closed window. And again, she's going to have her. And if I'm live stream, you know, picking up through the glass and blocking this, the, the music, their music out, uh, means her definitely she cannot have her music on in that other room. Uh, because the point is, if Facebook hears any music coming from anywhere else, uh, from what's going on out there, I guess, apparently, uh, it is, uh, again, it's going to be an issue with, uh, and then I get another stupid notice. Um, you know, I, I don't need those. Um, so again, like definitely, uh, like, a, like, like, like I said, and like I said, my wife is, is a stubborn type person. Like I said, uh, she's a stubborn type Indian woman. She is an Indian. Uh, she's native. She's an Indian. Uh, and Indians are too stubborn when it comes down to, to stuff. Uh, they don't listen to us white people. They never do uh, because they think they're always right and never wrong. But uh, I'm not saying that in a, in a very, very hateful or racist way. I'm just saying that this is the way they are. Um, you know, this is, you know, it could have been worse. <laughs> um, you know, I, I you know. I, I I could have been married to somebody uh, that it may, might might be the same gender as me, but no, that definitely probably be twenty times worse. But uh, I'm not saying that it to be in a very very put down way or anything else like that. Um, but uh, you know that probably be twenty times more funnier trying to tell them to shut the TV off. <laughs> they get too offended. Um, but uh, but like I said, my wife is she's uh, she 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 is she is the type she is she is too stubborn. And when they, native people get very stubborn, they don't like being told what to do. I really, in one sense, don't really blame them. Uh, but again, she can start. She can. She's a nice person, but she she get the wrong side of her. She can she can start to do her. She can her native temper comes out of her big time, big time. Look out, the roof caves in. Um, so, so this is why I said it is like a like a, like I said. So, uh, I'm gonna have fun uh, trying to restrain her from playing her name in a simple TV in the background if I'm going live because uh, this is gonna be hard uh, and complicated to do for our New Year's live system and, and and it like I said for our New Year's live night and I do not want my live stream disrupted or ruined in of any kind, um, and I don't want no bullying or problems. 
from Facebook staff company in general because I know the moment they hear a little simple TV in the background, through they send you a copyright message and they start calling here and they start 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 with their negativity, uh, you know, or they start with their hating or they start with their threatening. So, like I said, this is this is why I said so. So again, like I said, I even told her, I said to protect my live streams when I am live, there is to be no access sound in the background other than me talking on a mic, just talking on the microphone. Uh, and, and, I, and there's no uh, no background room TVs going, anything. Uh, no matter or not, I, it still comes through the door. I can still hear it. Um, there, it's definitely off. Um, has to be definitely off. Um, not it's not me being trying to be mean or i'm not trying to be controlling or mean it is it is it is it is too much harassment from the facebook people that own facebook company software too much uh that is that is that it ha- that will cr- that does create too much of a problem um so like i said that's that's uh people and a lot of facebookers are getting what you call uh, i got to say it in a polite way uh totally angry with that um and that just because it might be kids watching this is why is why i have to say angry i'm not gonna say the other the p word um the po word uh so so again like i said so so i said that that's uh uh so again like i said it is it is is one of those Big, 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 big challenges. Yes, uh, again, like I said, sometimes you you know some streamers can slide through with the odd CD player, but uh, now it is now with the with the technology getting stronger or whatever it is, it is the Facebook staff company is just they 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 they're just attacking everybody on Facebook for no reason. Uh, too much for no reason. They're attacking all live streamers for no reason. Uh, on the Liddy list, picking on on. Uh, just because they hear music in the background or they hear a TV in the background, they're in there shooting their mouth off. Uh, you you hear from them, uh, especially around more so around Christmas time or around the holiday season, more so than anything. Um, so so like I said, the 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 they're a Scroogey bunch. Um, that's a polite way. Uh, but that's okay. Santa put them on the naughty list, anyways. So I wouldn't be surprised if uh, they wake up to nothing in their stocking. I can put it that way, uh, and that kind of, kind of stuff. Not the children, the adults that work for Facebook, uh, because because the way they've all year round they've treated pe- Facebookers, uh, they get nothing for Christmas in their stocking. It's gonna stay empty. Um, so, so again, they again the face people that own the Facebook company or software, they're being too naughty. They're harassing, which is being naughty to us elves. or being naughty to the big guy. <laughs> they're getting nothing in their stocking this year, nothing. The kids will, they won't. Um, or probably a stocking full of elf poop. One of the two. <laughs> I could put that in a clean way. Uh, that's all I can say. Uh, <laughs> uh so so again like i said that's that, that, that's what happens when you're naughty uh and you're an adult we won't do that to the kids no we just do it to the adults who work up at facebook uh again teach them to be mean with us i'll tell you So so anyhow, we're gonna carry on <laughs> with the background shading. Uh, a little bit of a sense of humor there, guys, for you. So again, we're gonna get get that kind of shaded in as possible there. So So again, we're going to shade that in here and uh, so 
So you had that kind of a kind of a green in here and uh, So again, I'm going to go this way and uh, get kind of that out. We'll try to get all this as much as possible shaded in. And then I'm going to kind of, kind of do like kind of a background kind of a Christmas color shade over top of it as well. So again, we're doing the background white in a greenish color because of being Christmas and that kind of stuff as well. And uh, so far for now, if you guys locally and live locally here and you want one of these, uh, uh, what you call one of these uh, colored in sketches, let me know. And I will on the uh, while well, we got the Elf Lounge going live. Uh, we will we will shade we will do one up for you on here, and uh, no cost to it. Uh, so so again, like I said, it is uh, we're not like the other elves that co that charges money for everything. Um. So so again, like I said, we'll be and. Uh, And they're nice. You can put them in a picture frame, uh, you know, and, and that kind of thing. They can make one. They can also make a wonderful tattoo as well. Uh, if you're in, if you're old enough to get tattoos done, um, uh, they make uh, they make wonderful Christmas cards as well. And uh, or even if uh, you know if you. Um, making a storybook or whatever where you can put words on them or whatever you can make a children nice storybook out picture book out of it uh and that kind of stuff as well so uh, so again like i said that's uh Excuse me. So I'm gonna shoot that in. So again, I'm gonna shade that in the corner. Kind of, kind of get that kind of a kind of a kind of a good looking shade there, and yeah, kind of a green holly color uh, because of the <laughs> so again, yeah, like I said, we're just we're just sketching right along here. Oh. Sketching it on the way in here, getting that kind of uh, get that. Uh... And definitely gonna get that sharpened, get the green sharpened here in a minute.
So again, we'll just get that kind of in here and get that kind of shaded in green here a bit more. A bit more. And uh, I mean, let's, let's shade that in a bit more as well. Yeah, I'm gonna go this way and get that in there. Definitely. It's gonna be a long night for ourselves too. Christmas Eve. Ah. Then we're back here in time for New Year's. Then the Happy New Year's Lounge opens up. That'd be quite cool. I can't give the guy's name on here that left that comment about me about uh, regarding me uh, mainly uh, the two comments uh, that was removed, uh, but I do have his name down on paper, and I have I have the one comment that he placed on the video, and I have the um, the other comment that he placed below it. So, to my Facebook. The fact the guy's no longer living in Wyerton here, he's living actually in Toronto. He was all right when he was living here. When he was living here in Wyerton, he was fine. But ever since he moved to Toronto, he's gotten really bad. It's funny because it's funny because he would not dare go around Toronto saying something like that because I still have a surviving uncle that's left that lives in Toronto and I have a surviving cousin that is left that lives in Toronto and uh, so like I said he really better watch what he says I'll tell you saying that in a polite way I'm not saying that in a bad or it's not a threatening way or a bad way it is it is just he'll be approached by one of those two one of my two relatives if they overhear my name in a certain conversation about me or, or my wife uh, comes up uh, negatively or inappropriately uh, my uncle then that is left that's living in Toronto is going to say is going to approach him and uh, he's gonna be a little harsh with him um, so so again it is like i said i have i know people in toronto and i have i know people in montreal quebec too so that's what i said it's uh doesn't have to be a small town for the word to get around <laughs> it's just as worse or as bad in a big city um so so no matter where you live uh, you know, you can't use the excuse, well, it's a small town because big cities are just as bad. Um, I've got ears all over the place. But, uh, but yeah, so, so the, the, again, that is, that was just kind of a, just, just kind of, uh, you know, just, just a warning shout out to him. He knows, I, he knows who I'm talking about. Uh, he knows that he knows, he knows that uh, who I'm, uh, who I, uh, he knows what he said, and uh, and that and that kind of thing. And uh, like I said, that is just a war. That's just a that's just a clean warning. Uh, you know, shout out uh, that uh, is to be careful because of the fact that uh, he could be approached by a relative of mine in Toronto um, for saying what he said uh, and that kind of stuff as well. 
And that relative of mine uh, may not go the polite way about it. He may actually be a very, uh, may actually go what they call a very uh, aggressive way about it. Um, so, so like I said, nothing that I, nothing I'm doing at this end. Don't ever worry about that. That is just uh, that. That'd be my relative, his personal, everyday personal personality. Um, so, like I said, it's. It's his own discrepancy. <laughs> uh, so, you know, like I said, it is. Uh, but, uh, and that, so, so like I said. So again, we can get the um, get that uh, get that kind of uh, kind of a green in there, and uh, and that kind of stuff as well. And uh, Well, basically, what we can call is most of my most of my mom's side of my family and my mom has passed on with Huntington's, but my uncle that is remaining, my only uncle that I have left that is remaining in Toronto is is a survivor of that, and I have a female, I have uh, I have a cousin, uh, she's a survivor of that as well, and uh, so I said those those are the two relatives I have in Toronto, and then I have a rel I have a cousin in uh, also I have a country in Montreal, Quebec. Is a survivor of it as well. So, like I said, it's um, they're not as polite as I am, uh, personality-wise. Uh, you know, if they're if they hear anything about me the wrong way or whatever, or, or any 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 rumors or anything or anything said against me inappropriately, uh, they they're bound to uh, step in and open their mouth and say something to them. And not only that, uh, they report back to me. So, uh, like I said, it's uh, <laughs> you don't have to live in a, in a small town. A, again, cities can be big cities can be just as bad. Um, it's just a matter of being in the wrong spot at the wrong time. So, like I said, there is uh, like I said, their person their person their personality is way different than mine. Uh, again, like I said, they, they have a total different personality than I have. Um, they have more of an aggressive type of personality than I would, uh, and that kind of stuff as well. Means they, they could be more aggressive than anything uh, over something like that. So anyhow, uh, like I said, they we're going to go, we're going to get that in here like this. And... Um, I get the kind of a green shaded in, and uh, so anyhow, we can continue on with the Christmas elf lounge here and that kind of stuff, and uh, keep that kind of a keep that kind of a flow and growing going there. Kind of get kind of get get kind of a kind of a shade green in there as possible. Definitely get that kind of shaded in. Again, like I said, that's a 
Getting kind of around the flowers. We want kind of a green color as possible here, guys. That way, can it kind of get kind of a bright, bright green color? So again, we keep that keep that kind of in a kind of a kind of like a green as possible, a green green bright green type texture. Okay, so. Again, we're gonna get the Okay, I'm just gonna get that. Oh, get that on the side there. Make it look kind of, kind of a greenish Christmas color, at least. Oh,
saw again. Get a little bit of the green here, if that's possible. So again, we get that kind of in here. Get kind of more of the green kind of going here. Okay, so we just Okay, so get that kind of in there as possible. Get that a nice green color. Again, cover up all the white. That way it is looking kind of so that way it has got a nice little texture with a little bit of a green. And I, again, I think we're going to go back. I'm going to go. Go what we call it, what you call a light kind of a dark pink here, guys. Kind of around there, kind of blend it all in. So that way it is. It's got a bit of a sugar shade shine to it. That way it is. Just 
excuse me, the coffee's backing up my stomach. It's instant, too. Decaffeinated. It must be the creamer. It's, ha it's like a hazelnut flavor creamer. Mm, this is not bad. So I can get that. Make it kind of candy cane-ish. That way it looks kind of good for Christmas. And we're gonna get a little bit of a white texture now kind of blended in with a little bit of the white so where there's extra white spots trying to show over the pink we're gonna blend it all in that way it is So it's stenciling and sketching and sugar shading and sugar coloring, just like we did with the skulls. But again, these are flowers. Uh, I don't have, sorry, I have no, I have no Christmas sketches done up, but uh, they may not be done in time for Christmas. I hope so. Um, if not, we'll have them next Christmas. I'll have to settle for flowers this year. There may be the odd, there may, may, maybe the odd different type of sketch in my sketch pad. Pull over the purple. <coughs> so anyhow so you guys can see that one was from last night uh, from the night before last night because we took a break last night but that was from sun uh, that was from the Sunday night and uh, so anyhow this one here is from tonight and so you guys guys can see that one is, is completed and uh, so again uh, I think I showed you when it was, uh, showed you when it was, uh, we put this down here, and uh, so again, we'll get that kind of, uh, kind of get this stuff put away for tomorrow, at least. Uh, it's getting, these chairs are getting uncomfortable. I think got myself one of those big fancy leather chairs, but I don't, I don't know how, I don't know how a tree is going to take to the fancy leather chair. It already scratches my furniture up. I tell you where you go, bud. Hey. Eh? So uh, I don't know. He's uh, he's around somewhere, and we get that all all kind of all in there. And uh, so anyhow, and. Uh, It's a long time to set up, at least. Oh, I don't want that upside down. There's your handy stuff. And, um, 
So anyhow, we got a bit of time for a bit of a social. And uh, let's get the good, I uh, have a good sketch pad here somewhere. And, oh, no, 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 uh, there it is. And, oh, oh, my coffee is done. And my wife's just at the library right now. And uh, she should be back shortly because they, they close uh, shortly. Uh, again, uh, again, again, there's the sugar. There's what they call the, the, um, uh, the sugar, um, and the sugar bracelets and that. And so who do we have for commenters here today? We have, hey, Justin, how you doing? We have Jesse, we have Jessica Johnson. Uh, we have Sigira Meaten. Hello, uh, your last name is kind of hard to pronounce, but that's okay. Um, and we got Jess, Jessica Brieg, and we have Richard Hunt, and still uh, Chris Owaski. So, how are you guys doing? Again, we're again we have a bit of a again we did the the uh, color shading and sketching, and we will do more tomorrow night on the Christmas Elf Lounge too as well as we get closer to Christmas. Now, the Christmas Elf Lounge here, guys, goes up till New Year, uh, um, up to Christmas Eve, and uh, so again is uh, the Christmas Elf Lounge is for all ages. Now, the New Year's Eve sh uh, live is going to be is different. Uh, because that is uh, not all ages. That one has to be more restricted because it's more of a more of an adult celebration, um, kind of kind of friend gathering type party. And um, and that cause so so again that is that is that is our night. Well, my friends will bring their own case of beer with them, and and then I'll go buy my own case of beer and to the liquor store buy my own case of beer and uh we have a we have kind of a what you call a uh again i would put food coloring in the beer so so it could be green uh, well this year it's gonna be probably blue and purple the shortage of different colors there's a mixture of different colors and uh there's gonna be shrimp tray out salami tray and a lot so that'll be kind of kind of, kind of cool so there's going to be a couple of my friends that are going to be selected that live locally here. Um, so if you're on watching, let me know if you want your name down. I can pick from. If you're interested, if not, then it'll probably just be me and my wife. We'll have to shrimp tray out for ourselves and then all that. Uh, she's going to be doing her devil eggs as well. So that so again that'll be. Um, So it's got kind of nice because I've got this uh, border. I got the border working for on, on my other camera, so you guys can see. Um, well, it's got like ooh, it's got like kind of a candy kind of uh, ice cream cone around it. <clears throat> so I think it look kind of ice uh, elfish. And so far, hey Richard, uh, yeah, friend, uh, friend and I, we're doing good. And uh, see who's up here. Hey Raymond, how you doing? Lance, hi, how are you? Jerry, hello. Um, Matthew, Thomas, hello. Um. Marissa, hello. Uh, Melissa D. Uh, John, hello. If I pronounced your name right, I do apologize if I pronounce them wrong, because some name, last names it's hard for me to pronounce. So.
And also, too, a, again, I have again, I got the pictures up on my Facebook page too, as well, of the Elf Lounge and um, Christmas Elf Lounge. And then after Christmas, it, the uh, we'll be setting up for the the Happy New Year's Eve Lounge. So about Christmas Day, uh, we'll be setting up for the the Happy New Year's Lounge for the big New Year's night, and. Um, and that kind of stuff as well. So again, there's going to be a bit of a change around again. Background scenery change around again. And uh, so it's going to be a little open, a little bit wider. And that kind of stuff. And like I said, it's going to be a stand-up night party. So. Good live social night. Ah, I gotta ease up on the candy. Because my, my boss, where I work at the dentist office, does my teeth. She don't like me eating candy. Well, because I work in a dental clinic, I'm not supposed to be eating candy. We're supposed to be cavity-free people. Um, But I... Like I said, I only work in uh, I only work one day a week in cleaning and um, mopping and sweeping, and stuff from toothpaste bags and that kind of stuff. Like I'm not the hygienist, dental doctor. I just work downstairs in assistant lab, like help make the coffee, clean up the floors, mop the floors, wash the windows, shovel snow. If the snow guy, the guy that comes to shovel the snow, doesn't show up. Then I gotta go out and shovel the snow. Um, so I do like kind of light maintenance around the place and that kind of stuff as well, kind of like custodial office work. Um, I felt you know, you know, scrubbing down, you know, washing down the, washing down the toilet, sinks, everything else like that. What a fun job for two hours one day a week. Not bad, but it's something. Keeps me occupied. And um, from the last shows, um, so the, just let you know, the Christmas Elf Lounge, guys, itself is separate from the Happy New Year's Eve Lounge. Anybody can follow the Christmas Elf Lounge that's going on right now from November to December 24th. The Happy New Year's Eve Lounge is is more is more of an uh, is more of an adult follow show because that is our big party night for New Year's. Um, so again, I'm going to show you some of the other sketches I did up from before. So again, and uh, I keep forgetting which side my other camera is on. I'm so used to my mobile being on this side by the phone. I can actually reach the phone now. Okay, so that was from the that was from the last one there, guys. So you can see, again, yeah, there's a nice, nice little kind of a bright bright color there, guys, as well. And um, this is again, this is one was a double sider, guys. Uh, I don't know if I'm holding it upside down, but it is it is another double sider, which is another another. Uh, you call it another another sketching that you can do can make a wonderful children's book by the way guys um, like I said there is uh, if you really smart computers and uh, you got into the coloring and sketching as draw uh, the drawing sketching and coloring and sugar shocking and shading uh, after you're done it's actual work but uh, you can go on the computer and you can wait write up a storyline uh, write it that you can actually uh, what you call print off the computer and actually write them down on each page and make a book out of it especially especially when they're flip uh, flip sketches like this too see 
it would flip sketches. So you can put wood in on either side so you don't make an actual yourself an actual paperback book. Kids really love that when you make paperback books and you can actually put uh, you can actually put, put wording. Doesn't matter on how you word the carry on how you word to the pictures. Uh, again, you can word you can put anything on there. It doesn't have to be a specific way of wording and stuff. You make up your, your own creation of that, make up your own story to it. Um, so again, this is the other one. Uh, again, so that is uh, we got we got Walmart here, and uh, so again, there's the other one, guys. Uh, so again, there's there, there's the other sketch, and, and then you can turn it over, and uh, again, you got a you got another sketch there. And then, of course, the other one that we did is in my binder still, and uh, from today that we just did now, and. Uh, So that, that keeps us updated with that, and uh, each night up to Christmas Eve, guys, uh, is a different live flower sketching. Now, flower sketching, you don't have to do, uh, you don't have to have, or, the, or, you know, coloring sketching, and the, the sketching and coloring. Uh, you don't ha have to do just around Christmas time. You can do it, well, these ones with flowers, you can do them any time of year. Um, so, uh, like I said, it is uh, just because I didn't, I don't have, because I don't have any, I don't have any Christmas sketches done up yet. Uh, again, I just have the the flower ones, but uh, like I said, that the the Christmas one, I don't think I'm going to be able to do up in time. But if I can get them done in time, we'll have the Christmas ones. Maybe a few Santa Clauses or reindeers. I don't know yet. Um, if not, then we're stuck with the with the flower ones. I don't know what time it is. She should be home from the library by now. It should be closed. Bob. So I you know what? Stay on a few more minutes, and um, no. and um. I don't have to worry about going searching for Santa Claus anymore. Now I have to go searching for my wife. That's going to be fun. Uh, <laughs> see what she went through. Um, so, anyhow. And, um, and that. So, so, again, those are just some of the updates. And uh, so, again, uh, again, we were live here on the Christmas Eve. Uh, Chris, yeah. Christmas Elf Lounge. We're almost close to Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve, we can say the Christmas Eve uh, uh, Elf Lounge. But we're leading up to Christmas Eve. So I just want to keep you guys all updated. And uh, so anyhow, I hope everybody has a great night. And thank you so much for tuning in. And we will see you guys tomorrow night. Have a great night. Bye for now. Get camera two there off, and we say bye bye. Where's the tray? He usually says his goodbyes too, but I don't see him. Um,